Goeiemorgen ouders, good morning parents. Ek het het nodig gevind om maar weer een video te maak en net broodnodige inlichting weer te gee. So, at this moment there's a lot of speculation about when the school are going to start. We are now on day 24 of the lockdown en um, dit klink vir my mense raak nou rarig bekommerd oor die akademiese program en wat voor hem toe gaan gebeur. Nou, niemand kan rarig sê wanneer die skole begin. Die departement van onderwijs het saam met die Enies vergade en op die oude het hulle een program opgestel waar volgens die graad 12 en die graad 7 waarschijnlijk op 6 mei die skole gaan begin. Maar um, dit is nog nie vast nie. Dit is nog hele nog glad nie vast gemaakt nie. In teendeel, volgens Vetsas was dit uh, confidentiële uh, besluite wat geneem is en um, dit is nog lang nie wat gaan gebeur nie. So what am I saying? I'm saying, do not stress, do not worry. We are making plans tentatively for when our learners return to school. So at this stage, uh, about the speculation about the phasing in of the grades, that's exactly what it is, it's speculation. It has not been finalized yet. But of course one needs to plan for just in case. And this is what you have to do, is that it is for net and say. So, as us now, the plan, vir ons graag 12, so wat dan nou gaan begin op 6 mei, dan wil ek vir julle die versekering gee, dat ons definitieve plannen in plek het. Ek is met die bestuursman in aanraking, op een dagelijkse basis, en met die voorzitter van die beheerlichaam, André Groenewald, ook gereeld in gesprek. So, I'm really in contact with the chairperson of the governing body, and with management. We had a webinar with FEDSAS last week, and at this webinar, they ensured us that in the end, everything will be done to ensure the safety of not only our learners, but also of the staff. Now, misschien net een beetje achtergrond, wat is FEDSAS? FEDSAS is die Federatie vir Suid-Afrikaanse skole. FEDSAS, the Federation for South African Schools. And who do they represent? They don't represent the teachers as such. They represent parents. So it is an organisatie wat instaan en wat ouders verteenwoordig. Die onderwijsers het hulle enies. So ons werk maar met die Suid-Afrikaanse onderwijsers enie, of we um, uh, lies with uh, SATU of NAPTOSA. So we've got unions. That's what the, the teachers have. En VETSAS is soos in direct betrokken by die departement van onderwijs om op die ouwe die beste belang van die ouwe en die kind as prioriteit dan in plek te sê. So, as ons nou kyk na wat Vetsas met die departement van onderwijs dan nou bespreek het, dan sê ek vir jy dat op hierdie stadium met hulle vir ons gesê, dat sou die leders terugkeer school toe, gaan alles wat denkbaar moendlik is om kinders te beveilig in plek gesit word. Wat beteken dit vir ons school? What does it mean for our school? What are we going to do? If on the 6th of May we need to enter the school and we need to prepare for our learners, what are we going to have in place? In die eerste plek gaan die departement vir ons Alles verskaf. They are going to give us all the necessary um, masks. They're going to give us all the necessary um, gloves. And they're also going to give us thermometers. So wat ek nou voorsien, is dat graad 12 leders dan nou op die 6 mei terugkeer school toe. We'll be waiting for them at the gate with our masks on, with our gloves on. And then we will stand with the thermometer and first take every learner's temperature. Should there be a spike in temperature, obviously we're not going to allow the learner to enter. The whole uh, concept of social distancing will also be followed. We have 156 grade twelves. Now immediately when we look at social distancing, that is a problem. Management has a meeting with the executive of the governing body next week, Thursday, and then we'll discuss exactly what we're going to do. Want ook dit wat ek vandag vir jy vertel, is rarig nog alle spekulatie. So it's plans that we're going to put in place, but it's all really just tentative. Ek voorsien dat ons waarschijnlijk gaan onderrug hier aan die matrix in groepe van tussen 20 en 30. So that we can prevent the whole um, concept of overcrowding of classes and overcrowding of learners. So when we start school and we have those learners enters, enter the, the premises, we will immediately separate them and um, divide them into smaller class groups. That's that's what I foresee. 
En natuurlijk hand aan hand saam met die veiligheid van die kinders is ook met die veiligheid van die personeel. So the whole screening process will also be done with staff members and they also will have the, the masks and the gloves and then we'll take it from there. Luckily the school has been closed now for three weeks, um, just over three weeks and um, any possible viruses that could have been there probably died but when we start entering the premises and someone is infected then obviously the threat is real. So now elke group wat wissel of wat na ander um, lokaal toe gaan, sal ons moet skoonmaak. So we will have sanitizers, we will have bottles in each class, we will disinfect learners' hands as they enter the classroom, as soon as a class leaves, an educator will clean desks and everything possible that um, learners touch. So this rarig um, proces wat ons gaan moet deertrap, wat ek nou vir julle nou sê is tentatief en volgende week gaan ek met die beheerlag om dan nou sit, so ons alles kan finaliseer. Maar daar is nie manier wat ons enigszins gaan onderregeer of groepe kinders in een klas sit en ons het nog nie alles aan plek. So even if we need a day or two extra, we will do that. The department has promised that hygiene packs will be handed out to all schools. Nou dit op zichzelf is nogal een hengse story. So om al hierdie handskoene en maskers by die skole uit te kry, gaan een uitdaging wees. Ons het besluit dat ons maskers gaan anhou ook by die school net um, basis een paar daar he, maar die departement het ons dan verseker dat hulle al die nodige uh, voorrade en die, die thermostate en goed sal aankoop en aan die skole sal voorsien. So that's more or less then what we will have in place. As the safety and security officer at the school, uh, myself as principal, I will be held accountable. En ek wil vir die versekering gee, dat ek alles in van my vermoe sal doen om ons kinders veilig te hou. En dan natuurlijk ook ons personeel. Our staff members have their own learners, and not learners, sorry, their own children at home. And therefore we need to really be very careful. In the meantime, what are we going to do in the meantime? We've got structures in place. All of you know that there's so many platforms outside, uh, out there, social platforms, where the learners can, can work. Maar nou wil ek vir julle sê, pas op nou, want daar is nou hordes platforms, and I think learners are getting confused. So ek, ek hoor nou by ouders, dat ons leders voel een bykie oorlaai. Mama's voel oorlaai, want jy is een mama, en jy is een onderwijsreis, en dan moet jy nou nog die, die, die hele huishouding by die huis besteed. So ek, ek krij net, dat dit bykie rof gaan by die huise. Kan ek net die versekering gee, dat ons graad 8 tot ons graad 10, en selfs ons graad 11 leders, intern hanteer sal word. Moe nie te veel bekommerd wees daar nie. Die curriculum sal aangepas word, ons vraagstelle wat ons intern skryf, kan ons aanpas, die departement het gesê die curriculum sal aangepas word. So the curriculum and the content and the setting of exam papers will be adapted. So do not stress too much about the grade 8 until grade 11. Obviously with grade 11 we are trying to do as much, as, much, as much content as possible. Otherwise, next year, they might experience problems. Goed, kom ons kom dan by ons graad 12. Ons wil allemaal die ons graad 12 leders moet in die einde van die jaar examens kry. So we need them to pass at the end of the year. We need them to be uh, up to date as far as possible. I am hands on with that process as well. I have my own class. Therefore, I know the challenges firsthand that the educators are experiencing at home. Nou die eerste uitdaging um, wat die die onderwijzer en die leerder dan ervaar vir hierdie eerleer onderrig en hierdie afstands onderrig is basis hoe kry ons die werk by die kinders uit en hoe kry ons die werk weer terug. Now, can I please ask that Ferrum learners use the Google Classroom pl uh, platform because that's where we are interacting with you as educators. We have many WhatsApp um, groups that have been put in place where the teacher can communicate with the learners directly on a daily basis. Now, um, the week that's last week, I had a meeting with management, a Zoom online meeting, and I gave specific instructions, this is not only for grade 12, that each grade 12 educator must identify learners that are at risk. In other words, learners that are having problems based on the grade 
Terwijl term 1 assessment. So hulle moet gaan kyk het en al die kinders gaan identificeren wat al reeds blijkt dat daar probleem is. Goed, so as hulle nou dit klaar geïdentificeerd het, wat doen hulle dan? Dan doen daar nou, um, ek voel myself nou nie rede, ons het nog nie rapporte gekry nie. We haven't handed out reports. In the high school it's a bit more complicated than in the primary schools. So we've handed out, uh, I sent out letters, letter 4 and letter 5. Letter 4 is about the reports. Please, please read those letters. Um, it's come to my attention that some parents say they're receiving the mails, but they didn't open the letter and they didn't read the letter. So already in letter 4, I sent out the Google Classroom codes, and it seems like some parents have not actually gone and looked at those codes. So for all of us, grade 12, as jij nog niet gaan kijken het like jou grade 12 leder online op Google Class Cameras nie, doen dit asseblief. So we've, we've still got two weeks of um, e-learning that's going to take place, uh, of distance learning. So um, I'm really uh, uh, camping down on this. I'm looking at uh, what are our learners doing? Are they online? Is there interactive communication between your child and his or her educator? So uh, from my side, I'm checking the educators. They've uh, needed to fill in a lip form. It's a form that I've designed, designed based on the education department's SIP form. Now, the SIP form is a subject improvement plan. Now, the LIP form is a learner improvement plan. So, natuurlijk gebruik ek om net so ook vir ons Afrikaans leders ek had, wat noem om nog steeds dan a LIP form. So, onderwijzers het nou al vir my hulle LIP name deurgestuur. Ek weet precies wat ek kinders sikkel in elke val en waar die rooie lichte alreeds flikker. Die graadhoof is alreeds in kennis gestel om ouders te skakel, waar leders nie actief is op ons um, Google Class komen. nie. So, as die leder stil was, dan bel ons en ons vind uit, wat is die probleem? Hoekom is jy nie actief nie? Hoekom het jy nie goed ingehandig nie? Wat gaan aan? So, please, um, bear with us. If Mrs. Smith, the grade 12 graded, has contacted you, and, um, there were certain challenges, then please still be in contact with her. If you can't get all of her, you're welcome to also contact me or the class teacher. So, waar daar dan een sekere uitdagings is, skakel ons dat ons die uitdagings kan oplos, dat ons kan sien wat is die probleem. Daar is so paar matrikulante wat probleme gehad het met data. Ons het dit aangespreek en ons het vir van data voorsien. So, please, if your child is running out of data, it's now already week 3, Contact us so that we can make a plan. Natuurlijk, wanneer ons data verskaf aan leders en aan onderwijzers, want daar is personeel wat ook uitdagings het met data, dan hou dit nieuwe implicaties. En dit is dan een financiële implicaties. Maar voordat ek daarbij uitkom, kan ek dan vir die vrou om die Google Classroom platform te gebruik? Of course, they can go on school FM and listen to all those lessons. That's mostly for the English learners, because some of it is in Zulu. So please, our English-speaking learners, our Zulu learners, go on to School FM. That is every day, all those lessons um, presented there by those teachers. Ons Afrikaans leders, ons is geregistreerd by SOS, by die um, Skole Ondersteuning Centrum. And they have especially online lessons based on, on math and science. So, daar is verskillende platforms, maar wanneer jy met jou onderwijser dan skakel, maak gebruik van Google Klaskamer, en van die WhatsApp groepe. Um, die, soos ek gesê, daar is, daar is een macht om online opties daar buiten, maar die skakeling met jou onderwijzer moet jy asjeblief dan nou via WhatsApp doen, of met Google Class Kamer doen. The financial implications for this whole process, in my letter 5 that I sent out, I urge you to please still pay school fees. We would not like to be in the position where we have to tell our, I think we've got about 24 governing body teachers that we cannot pay their salaries. Um, soos ek vir julle gesê het, onderwijsers sit nie nou by die huis en doen niks nie. Die onderwijsers is rarig actief op Google Klaskamer en hulle is bezig om Zoom lesse voor te berei. Ek self het al een paar video lesse um, um, voorberei en, en aan die kinders beskikbaar uh, uh, gestel. Morgen het ek my eerste online Zoom klas wat ek met my groep gaan hanteer. En ek moet vir julle sê, dit is nogal 
uitdaging, ons leer baie, en dat is soveel meer voorbereiding, wanneer jy online is, en wanneer jy um, jou goed moet klaarreg, jy kan nie nou vir die kinder sê, wacht net een bykie, ek moet net gaan gauw hier nog een bron vir jou kry, en net vir jou nog ietsie wees, of wacht net gauw bykie, ek soek net nog een powerpoint, want ek wil gauw vir jou nog ietsie bijgee nie. Um, dit moet reg wees, en wanneer die kinders dan voor die camera sit, moet jy met hulle kan praat. Een Zoom les is net 40 minuten lang, en die 40 minuten moet dan nou productief gebruik word. So, um, in the financial aspect, I, I please urge you, if at all possible, pay your school fees, uh, we are trying our best to still do what we're supposed to do, and as I told you, it, it really takes a lot of preparation to do the online teaching. Should you be retrenched, should you, should you have um, your salary cut, of enige probleem wat opgeduik het, wat veroorzaak dat jy nie jou spoelfonds kan betaal nie, Ek verwijs nou na brief 5. Kijk asjeblief na brief 5. Ek het duidelik uit enige sit daar wat die procedure is. So please follow those procedures. Um, send in an email. The email address is in the letter. Please contact with us. And um, especially now, as I said, with the lip form and the lip reports that I'm receiving weekly now from educators, where I am looking at what's happening with our learners. Um, but remember now the lip form is only for the learners in grade 12, where we saw in grade, uh, in term one, that there are problems. So they might not have um, performed well with their term one test. And we based that on only theory, because also in my letter four, I think it was, yes, I told you that the reports will not be going out because there are still PET and other practical aspects that need to be covered. Together with the June exam, I foresee that us near uni exam and gaan any. We're going to adapt the whole calendar. We will send that out to you as soon as we finalize that. So there will not be a uni exam and as what they always was. The exams are going to be So as what we now foresee, the whole calendar will be changed. All the other things are going to be on for the second quartal, what in any case is not going to be on the second quartal. There will not be four quartals. So the whole thing is going to be changed and we will be on three quartals. Daar is praatjes dat die vakanties weggevat gaan word. The holidays can't just be taken away. The educators can't start in May and end in December. And luckily the unions are also not pro that. So hulle bekleid daar weer vir die onderwijsers. So dat ons wel daarom een breek ewers dat tussenin kan vat. Omdat die mens heel dag met kinders werk, um, is dit nie wenselijk dat personeel nie ewers de breek of een vakantie dan sal heen. Ek denk ek het die meeste van die aspekte um, now gedek. I think I've covered most of the aspects. I'm in communication with many parents. Um, you send me messages via WhatsApp or you send me messages on Messenger um, and that's fine. Send messages through on the Fathom Facebook site. Uh, that's uh, most of our parents are on that. Unfortunately, most of our parents are still not connected on, on D6 Connect. Uh, but I want to urge you to please also still do that. And um, pay your school fees, please, online, EFT, D6 Connect, cashless, so that we can still keep the ship floating. And we would still like to pay, especially our priority is to still pay our SGB educators. Thank you so much for listening and good luck. Bye, dankie. En sterkte. En dit is uitdagende tye, maar ek is positief. I want to leave you with the last quote, one of my favorite Bible quotes that I often use in my personal life, and that is, be still and know that I am God. In the end, God is in control. Thank you.